In this video, we're going to talk about the geographic coordinate system, the tools that are inside there, and also how to attach a coordinate system to the DGN file. The importance of attaching a geographic coordinate system to the DGN file is it not only lets MicroStation know where that particular geometry lies at in the world, but also whenever you do that, you can utilize other data and bring it into MicroStation, like a shape file from ArcGIS or a web map server that we have links that you can attach to so it knows where it should lay at and also Google Earth whenever you can export the DGN file to a KML it'll actually know where it should be placed at in Google Earth another thing for the importance of attaching a geographic coordinate system is for electronic deliverables for the contractor and other um, vendors that may want to use this data as they're building the project to get to your ge geographic coordinate system tools, if you go to the main toolbar on the right side, and it's the second to last one in the tools, this is where you have the geographic coordinate system tools. And we're going to select the top one right here that says select geographic coordinate system. Another way that you can get to there if you don't have it in your toolbar is you can go to the tools pull down, go to geographic, and you can get to the tools this way also. Now one thing you do need to know before you assign a coordinate system to the DGN file, you need to know how the surveyor shot that geometry in whenever they went out to the field and gathered all that data for the, the power poles, the fence lines, and all the other stuff that's existing out there. So once you figure out what coordinate system that they used, and if there was a modified factor to it, that's another thing that you need to know now you can come in here and assign that coordinate system to the DGN file and in the tools here we're going to select this one right here that says from library now from the library we have some different folders that you can look at we have one that says MoDAT geographic coordinate systems which in here we have the standard state plane zones we have actually two different sets one with the 2011 adjustment another one for the state plane zones and then a couple other ones for UTM so if you know that data was shot in using one of those systems you would select that particular coordinate system and apply it to the file we also have some modified geographic coordinate system and if we expand out those folders you're going to see some ones for like the central district and also St. Louis where they've kind of started using a county-wide modified factor for their projects whenever they go out and shoot them in. So for like Boone County or Callaway, you can kind of see in this A1 parameter and B2 parameter, they've applied that modified factor to it. So it all depends on how the the, um, the surveyor shot that data and brought it in. Once you Once you know that, then you can apply the correct coordinate system to the DGN file. That way if you use something else or you export this out later on it'll lay in correctly and then also you have the library that is provided from bitly and there's a bunch of different coordinate systems underneath there if you ever wish to look at those so simply all you really need to do is once you figure out what the coordinate system is is simply select it and then go ahead and click on OK and now you'll see that we have a coordinate system applied to the file now nothing happens to this data. Nothing gets shifted, nothing gets moved, nothing gets scaled. It's just telling MicroStation that this is the coordinate system that was used whenever this data was shot in. Now if you did come in here and you applied a coordinate system to the file and maybe you selected the wrong one, you can simply come back in here, go from the library again, select the one that you want, we'll just select the east zone for the, this time if you hit OK whenever you change a coordinate system from one to another you will get this box that says how do you want to assign the coordinate system do you want to correct the coordinate system and do not reproject the data or do you want to reproject the data to the new coordinate system 99% of the time you'll want to select this one right here that says correcting the coordinate system do not reproject the data if you select the other one, it'll actually take that data and it's going to shift it and put it in to a different spot. Basically, it's going to move it and scale it and whatever to that new coordinate system, which very rarely will you ever want to do that. It will actually um, mess your data up and it won't be in a correct location anymore. So if you ever do that, 
just come in here and select the one that says correcting the coordinate system do not reproject the data hit OK and now you'll see that we have the new coordinate system or another way that you could do it if you feel a little bit more safe is you can come in here and delete the coordinate system and it'll say do you really want to delete it just click on OK and then come back in here and assign the, the coordinate system that you want so that's another way that you could do it So. That's how you assign a coordinate system to the DGN file.